I've been asked a few times, how do you build confidence? How do you become more confident of a person? I love that people ask me that because they must find me kind and confident. Well, who cares about the kind part? I'm just maybe saying about myself. But I feel like there are some things you can do regardless if you're confident that make you appear confident, right? There's body language stuff, but there's also mental stuff, stuff that you can truly feel more confident in about yourself. And so for just a couple simple things like body posture, right? If you're all hunched over and you're walking around and you're looking down, you're not very confident looking, you're kind of sad. And then so if you, you know, are up and you're walking around like this, or for example, Conor McGregor, who like, you know, walks like that, right? Super confident. Building confidence in yourself comes from, I, I truly feel, by being valued by others. If people value you and you feel that value, you will build confidence in yourself. You will start thinking that you have more confidence. Because if people say it about you, then it must be true. And so other people might disagree with me on this. But I think if you're surrounded by people that treat you like shit and don't think highly of you, you're probably going to feel like shit. And you're not going to think that highly of yourself. If you are in a community of people that think really highly of you and tell you how much they appreciate your time and tell you how grateful they are for you, I mean, of course, that's going to build your confidence, right? It's going to make you feel great. And so a big reason why I say this is I've had my own experience where I'm in certain places in America, for example. Let's just use it. You know, I'm a southern boy, right? I'm from New Orleans. I'm in the south. I do things a little bit slower, more relaxed. I went to New York. And it's so fast paced there, right? Like I'm like a hassle to other people because I'm just slow and I'm trying to figure things out, right? I know everyone's just super fast paced. So there, uh, my value might not be as high, at least in the short term. Maybe I could build that value up depending if I really want to stay there. Just a quick example I'm trying to give you. And then another example, I go over to India and I'm in some small areas and I'm the only white guy. One of my friends, she's an actress, so I'm on the movie set. Uh, and I, I'm not an actor. Maybe one day I'll be an actor, because that would be cool. But who doesn't want to be an actor? But anyway, I'm on the movie set, and everyone around is like treating me like, like I'm an actor. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just because I'm like a foreigner. Because in this town that I was in, they, they, say, they have a saying that they treat, uh, they treat guests as gods. So any guest that comes in is treated like a god. They treat them so nicely. So you feel really valued. So just being in an environment... Like when, I'm, when I was on that movie set with my friend, obviously it's really cool to watch her and, and talk to other people and meet people of other cultures, but they're so excited to meet you know, me and get to talk to me that of course my confidence grows. Of course I feel good about that. Like How could you not feel good about that? Maybe if you're super introverted and don't want to meet people, but that made me feel really good. And that's just a small example, right? I'm, I'm in a community and people really want to talk to me and they're treating me really nice. That makes me feel good. And so if I experience that in one place and then go to Vietnam, and for example, you're a foreigner in Vietnam, you're treated very highly. Uh, I think foreigners in America are treated very differently. Americans have a very high sense of themselves, and the people that have the highest sense of themselves, I think, are like New Yorkers in America. And so if you're if you're in New York and you're not a New Yorker, like you're less than. That's how they think. Uh, <laughs> forgive me if you're a New Yorker and you don't think that way, but if you are in another country and you're a foreigner, like for example, in Vietnam, you're treated very highly. So that feels really good. So a lot of my confidence actually came from traveling around and being treated very good in different environments. In America, that confidence boost came from joining organizations, running organizations, helping out as much as I could and being on the boards of stuff. Cause then, you know, I'm getting in a position where people then respect me and that, that builds confidence. The times I felt worse is like one of them, I know everyone kind of felt bad during COVID, but COVID was a pretty bad time for me. I was living back on my mom's sofa. I had no income coming in. I didn't talk to anyone. So for me, my confidence was extremely low. And that was before I started traveling. So I went from having very low confidence to first going to Costa Rica, where people treated me so nice and just said how kind of a person I am. I was in tourist destinations and they were telling me like, you're so much kinder than most people. Right? Like to hear a comment like that, it's like, no, thank you so much. And you hear it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And then you think, maybe I am kinder than most people. That at least that they're seeing, at least that they're coming into contact with, right? Like maybe not everyone ever, but they're saying it, so I should start to believe it. And over time as you start to hear these things, right? 
you're handsome, you're so confident, uh, you're kind, like, then you're like, yeah, I'm handsome, I'm confident, I'm kind. So this is at least what's happened to me and helped me grow a lot of my confidence. And the reason I'm sharing this is if you are not feeling very confident, assess your surroundings, assess the people around you, assess how they treat you, and move from there. You can improve by understanding how they treat you and, and how you like to be treated. Uh, you don't have to stay in the same environment. If you really, really want to, that, that's fine. You can find some other communities there. But if you're not stuck to it, try some other environments. Try some other communities. See how that goes. And if people treat you really kindly, maybe that's an environment for you. And that can increase your confidence. So this is a short video to, show, to share with you some of my experience and hopefully some things that could help you to build your confidence. If you have any questions, let me know. See you.